In this lesson, we're going to create a New Zealand Post international delivery from scratch in eShip. Let's start by clicking Create Order. First, let's input the references. These two reference fields will appear on any reporting or invoicing sent to you by New Zealand Post and can be used to look up this shipment later in eShip, which makes them very helpful for tracking and reconciliation. Order number is a unique value associated with this delivery. eShip automatically creates one for you, but you can change it to match a reference from your own ordering system. This reference is also printed on the label. Reference number can be used for any additional reference value you like. It doesn't have to be unique either. This could be used to store a cost center or an internal note. The reference number is not printed on the label. Next, we input the receiver's address details. The first thing to do when creating an international delivery is to change the country. I'm going to use Australia. Next, you can use the lookup address feature to search for your address. Start typing the address. And eShip will load address suggestions. Then you can simply pick the desired address from the list and all the required fields will be filled out for you. Then you can add additional fields. Add the receiver's name. You can include an email address if you want to send email notifications to the customer. And the same applies to phone too. You can send SMS notifications if you include a mobile number here. You can add a company name. You can add additional addressing information such as a building name or suite, store number or flat number. And finally, you can add delivery instructions on the right. Once you've done this, you can tick Save as Contact to Address Book to keep this address for reuse later. To look up an address that you've saved to the address book, click on Look Up Address, then select Look Up Contact. Then you can type in either the name of the receiver, the receiver's company name, or the receiver's code, which is a value you can add to a receiver via the address book. Once you've input the text, then you can simply select the receiver from the list. Now click Next to move to the next step. The Item section is used to describe the items inside your delivery for International Customs Declaration. eShip automatically makes a dummy item for you to edit. You can also click Add New Item to create more. Let's edit the default item by clicking the Edit button. To input the name of the product, you can optionally include a SKU as well from your own ordering system. There are other additional options as well, including country of origin, HS tariff code, color, and size. These are typically used for clothing items. Then, specify how many of that item are inside your shipment. And then you can specify whether any of these items have shipped already. For example, if you're doing a split delivery. The total number of items to ship will be the quantity, minus the number that have already been shipped. Typically this is left at zero, but let's do this as an example. You'll also need to add a per item price, let's say one dollar each, and a per item weight, say one K each, very heavy bananas. Then click anywhere else on the screen to update the changes. As you can see, because I've said that five items have been shipped already, we only have five items left to ship, eShip automatically works out the total value and the total weight. It'll use the total value as the declared value for the shipment, but you can update this separately if you need to. Depending on the service selected and the receiver's address, you may also be prompted to input a receiver ABN number at this stage. Next we choose a parcel size. This is a list of default parcel sizes that I've created for myself. You can set up your own parcel sizes via the settings menu. First, choose a parcel size from the list. In my case, I have big box already selected. Then, you can update the weight and dimensions as needed. Simply type over the values that you wish to change. 
Any changes you make to parcel sizes and weights here are not saved permanently. You can also add a temporary custom box if needed. I'm going to carry on with just one big box. Next, we go to the carrier section. I'm shipping from Auckland, New Zealand to an Australian address. The eShip is automatically hidden all of the country specific services that I can't use. For example, I can't use a GoChina service to deliver to Australia. This way, I can't choose an invalid service by mistake. Let's select International Courier. There are a few additional options we must look at. We can tick Insurance to add additional cover, and GST Paid to indicate that we paid the GST on this item separately. The last step is to choose the consignment type. You can either choose Documents, or non-documents, and then choose from the available options. At any time, you can choose to save your order and continue working on it later by clicking the Save Order button. The order will be available under the New tab on the order screen. Otherwise, if you are ready to generate the label, you have three options. You can click Print to send the label to your assigned printer, Download to save the label to your computer as a PDF, or email to generate a PDF and then email it to the email address of your choice. In this case, I'm going to download the label. That's it. Job's done.